today we're going to go over how to properly install and set up the Honeywell Focus Pro 5000. Um, first we're going to go with a straight, cool, or conventional setup. This would be the proper wiring for a conventional or straight, cool setup. You're going to have the red wire on the R terminal, which is going to be our 24 volts. Then you're going to have the yellow wire on the Y terminal which is going to be our 24 volt call for cooling, which will engage the contactor on the outdoor unit. Then you're going to have the blue wire on the C terminal, and that's going to be our 24 volt common. Then you're going to have the white wire on the W terminal, which is going to be our 24 volt call for heat. And then you're going to have the green wire, which is going to be our 24 volt call for the indoor blower motor. So on this one, we're going through the actual installation setup. Um, so you're going to push the up arrow and the fan button on the left-hand side. You're going to hold that for approximately 10 seconds until the display changes here. At this point, you're going to use the up and down arrows and next button. So to change the setting, you would use the up and down arrows here and here. and to go to the next setup, you're going to hit the next button. On this particular one, we're setting it up for a conventional straight cool or conventional furnace. So anything that's dark like this one here in bold is going to be the default setting. So for a conventional one heat, one cool system, you would have it be zero. Then you would hit the next button. At that point, you're going to select whether it's a gas furnace or it's an electrical furnace. Uh, that question is going to be, are, is it a gas furnace or is it an air handler with electric heat strips? You're going to select whatever one is applicable, gas furnace or air handler with electrical heat strips. So at this point, we'll say it's a gas furnace. We select gas furnace. Then option number five, if it's a gas furnace, you're gonna select number five. If it's a electrical furnace with heat strips, you're going to select number nine. Again, whatever one's applicable. Um, number nine is going to be stage one compressor. Three is recommended for um, the cycle per hour. So essentially this system can turn on and off three times per hour. Um, and then it will, won't turn on until that hour has gone by. For the most part, three cycles per hour is perfectly fine. So I always leave that on the default. If you ever needed to change it, you could change it. Default is perfectly fine. On number 12, you have a couple different settings. Now this is gonna be customer based. Um, this is going to be manual changeover from heat, cool, or off. If you bump it up to one using the up and down arrows, if you were to bump that up to one, that's going to give you the auto changeover capability. So now you have heat, cool, auto, cycling between heat and cool as needed or off. If you want the auto function only, say it's an elderly couple, they really struggle with how to work the thermostat, um, you could switch it to two using the up arrow and that would be auto changeover only. So they're gonna have auto, that's gonna be the only option. So it's pretty much, um, tamper proof at that point, then you would set up your um, cooling temperature set point and your heating temperature set point and just leave it. Number 14 is going to be whether or not we want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Obviously in the States here, we're gonna be on zero, which is going to be Fahrenheit. Number 15, that's going to be our compressor protection delay. Um, five is fine, five minute compressor off time. So every time it's on and cycles off, it's going to require a five minute delay. Every time you've cycled power off and cycle it back on, it's going through a five minute time delay. If you wanted to adjust that, you could adjust it using the up and down arrows. So then we'll pass over number 26, which is only applicable for heat pumps. And then number 27 is going to be our maximum heat setting. This is again, personal preference of the homeowner or the property manager. Whatever limits they give you, this is gonna be your heating limit and this is going to be your cooling limit. 
Um, residential customers, usually you don't have to worry about it. Property managers, you want to have a quick discussion um, in regards to what they would like that lockdown at. Nice feature in this particular thermostat, along with most thermostats, is you actually have an installer system test. How you're going to do that is by pressing the up and down arrows uh, for approximately 10 seconds until you get this display. Um, just follow the instructions. You're going to press the up and down to turn the system on and off and go through the actual settings. So you're gonna have heat and fan turned off is going to be zero. Number one is stage one heat turns on, fan turns on. So you wanna look for that, is that happening? Um, so then you just go through this test mode. The biggest thing is depending on the system that you're working on, how to get into the installer system test mode and then actually going through the processes to confirm proper operation. So currently 10, that's gonna be for these testing, that's gonna be for your heat testing. Then you bump this up and go to 20, and that's going to be for your emergency heat system testing, which is going to be on your heat pump systems. And then you're going to hit next again, which is gonna bring you to number 30, and that's gonna be testing out your cooling operation. And then you're gonna hit up again, moving this to test number 40, which is going to be your fan test, confirming that the fan is turning on and off as desired. All of this eliminates any delays, so you're not working through delays. You pop into this installer system test, and you can burn through all of the settings within three, four minutes, opposed to waiting multiple time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was beneficial. Thanks a lot.